And there he goes again. And that one he was off to a little bit quicker, right off the meat of the bat again. That'll be 4 2. Well, take that, I think was the word as he went past McDermott. That's another very, very good shot, this time in front of square, through mid wicket, in fact. There's an edge there, and that's the end of Alan Donald, and that's the end of the South African innings. Ian Healy takes quite a sharp catch, and Shane Warne has taken another five wickets in an innings. 12 for the match, and a very impressive performance it's been once again. And Johnny Rhodes, 76 not out, and uh, Donald got himself into double figures. 239 for the South Africans, and the Australian bowling, a very good performance from McDermott, 28 overs, 9 maidens, 4 for 62, and Shane Warne, 42 over 17 maidens, 5 for 72. You can count the bad balls he bowled during the day on the fingers of one hand. A terrific effort from those two players. 117 needed by the Australians for victory in this second test match at the SCG. We joined play now in the second over. Fanny de Villiers is the bowler. Mark Taylor is taking strike. One run on the board without loss. And it's Bill Lurie and Simon O'Donnell. Spine shot. Taylor off the mark of a run off drive. Some pops the fieldsman. One bring after it down to long off. Three runs. Got him, beauty, knocked him over, good delivery, slater ball, and all of a sudden there's the door open for South Africa, right through the gates. Received him at the line here, Michael Slater trying to push this ball towards mid-wicket, mid-on, just straightened a little bit for De Villiers, and clipping that off stump, you can see him here trying to push it towards mid-on, mid-wicket, swung late, a lovely delivery, one that really does give South Africa hope. He'll be very disappointed about that. A few nerves in the Australian dressing room. One for four. Donald. That goes over the top of the two men there and boom, deep both and the go for four. Well, it was, uh, I think it was intentional, but it wasn't with a lot of conviction that one. He didn't really go after, he sort of angled the bat and it flew over the man at point and deep gully. Oh, he's dropped it. That has gone straight back to him and he put it down. Now that's the length he's got to bowl. Boone got a little bit foxed by that one. David Boone thinks he's out. He's off. Oh, no, I'm still there. Short outside, off stump and it's beaten the field. Nice spin of it as they hit the deck, then they go flying away out on the offside there and that one's gone to the fence for four short delivery deserved to be punished one for 28 got him what a brilliant catch that is a superb catch Gary Person at the leg short leg does a David Boone he catches Boone and it's now two for 51 Boone jams this into his pad a boom in the air from De Villiers and Kirsten, who's put down a few sharp ones there. This one goes straight to him. And that's a good catch and fitting reward for Fanny De Villiers. He takes his second wicket. And De Villiers will be coming in at 100 mile an hour now from the members' end to the night watchman. Ah! Big shout, close, got him! He's got a hat trick, Fanny De Villiers! The night watchman fails again. Can South Africa pull this out of the hat? This may be the magic act. Well, he's on a hat-trick. The first wicket was a very good catch by short leg Gary Kirsten. Boone clipped it there, sharp and straight in the midriff. Boone was out for 24. And night watchman Tim May from Prince Alfred College in South Australia shuffles across in front and he's judged Plum LB. He's out first ball and De Villiers is on a hat-trick. Barney De Villiers. It's got to be a good length with the stumps. He's off the mark. It may be a three, Mark Ward, just straying on the next stump. They'll pick up three, but a wonderful over by Fanny De Villiers. It's now three for 54. He's gone again. Mark Taylor's off. The Australian vice captain's out of here. And this could be an absolute miracle effort. Fanny De Villiers picking up his fourth wicket. An absolutely magnificent leg cutter to the left-handed batsman. Mark Taylor departs. Australia in trouble. South Africa right back in it. Perfectly pitched off cutter there. It's gone beautifully. Just caught the edge. And Taylor didn't even bother to wait for Bill Sheehan's finger.
It's four for 56. Beautiful shot. Beautiful placement. Lovely timing. That ball running away towards the boundary. Batsman will complete a full four. Again, very well run. Alan Border showing what a great player and spin he is. The fifth and final day of this test match between Australia and South Africa at the SCG. The second in the series and uh, the Australians deep in trouble when the day began. Not many needed, just 54 with six wickets in hand, but problems for the Australians. We join Donald now. He's bowling the first over of the day. Alan Border is taking strike and your commentators Tony Gregg and Simon O'Donnell. Donald, no doubt, knows what he's got to do. He'll be plugging away just short of a length, hoping to regain a little bit of accuracy and pace, something which has deserted him just in the last few days. He's been a little erratic. Oh, and he's bowled him. Has he? No, that's hit the stumps. Yes, it has. I thought I heard a clonk there. Border's gone. He left that one. And all of a sudden was a half-hearted appeal. What a beautiful delivery that one was. It pitched just outside. Well, round about off stump, held its line. And Border was absolutely amazed. Look down there and just watch the bail go here. This is test cricket at its best. Alan Border, thinking he had that very well covered, was going to pass well outside off stump. Alan Donald just straightened it back. South Africans have got to be happy. Alan Border's gone for seven. That's well played. Just a little wide, slightly over pitched, and wore onto it in the flash. And settle for two. And in a situation like this, a few boundaries uh, go a long way to easing the tension in the dressing room. If you can bring that target down fairly quickly, it does help to relax the dressing room a little. It's a good shot from Mark War. And the South African fielding, as you would expect in this situation, they're putting in absolutely everything. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning, Ian. Just 45 required now. What a contest we have here today. Oh, that's a good delivery from Donald. He's gone. He's ripped the Yorker in there. That was a lot quicker. And uh, he surprised Mark War. And boy, isn't that an important wicket for South Africa. Alan Donald. You know what the pace he took off that last ball and stopped a, a three and made it into a two. It's paid off. 45 runs to be made and just four wickets in hand now and importantly for South Africa Mark War back in the pavilion Oh and a good bouncer from Alan Donald right on line as he is so often with his bouncer you can understand the captain wanting to get everything absolutely right just making sure everyone is exactly where he wants them. Just moved everyone a little bit square, everyone around that direction. He's got him. He's knocked it on, attempting to guide that ball away through the offside field. So Fani de Villiers has got his first five for in Test cricket. <laughs> that doesn't look pleased about it though. Fani de Villiers by the crease. The off he drags the fingers down. Ian Healy, inside edge, we've already seen one early this over. He jammed it into the pad. That time, at the end of Ian Healy. This game just tipped slightly in South Africa's favour right now. And Damian Martin getting the single. In fact, they may even think about two. That's well run. What a hurry! He's gone. A direct hit. A direct hit. And uh, that's got rid of Shane Warren and everything going exactly right for uh, the South African captain, Unzi Cronier, the man with the uh, direct hit. Well, this was always going to be tight if they took two. Admittedly, it needed the perfect return. Unzi Cronier, he knows that they'll be looking for two. Picks it up, throw on the turn, and the direct hit. Funny de Villiers standing in a very poor spot for Bill Shoon to make that decision. And McDermott has decided to do the right thing. 
Get some boundaries and bring that tully down quickly. That's good thinking. Once again, McDermott goes uh, through the offside. I think that's the gap that uh, Cormier's got to try and block. That's good batting from McDermott. Down to 34 now. That's Keaton, the man who's been caught in there alongside the umpire. Look at easy two, not looking for a third. And that's not what he wants. It's certainly not what Hansi Cronier wants either. Lovely stroke from McDermott. Good positive shot. Is that a go? That one, and he's hit it down the ground. That's pretty well hit by McDermott. He's been the aggressor out there, and he's being re rewarded for it. Back for the third. It really is a fantastic effort by him. He's come under, out under a lot of pressure, and uh, he really has done well. This 12 runs required. Well, Donald now. Is being brought back into the attack. In the air, over the head, oh, inches away. Just bobbed over the top of extra cover there. That could so easy have gone down his throat. Look at the heads dropping in the Aussie dressing room. Brock is chewing on his glasses. Got him, yes, straight to cover, that's it. Well, Glenn McGraw is going to have to make his way to the centre now with 10 minutes to go before lunch. And he and McDermott are going to have to score these winning runs. Here it is again. Damian Martin driving on the rise there and hitting it. Well, not quite straight to Andrew Hudson, but a good catch. Well played. Right up in the block. Oh, he's got one. So nine for 111 now, and uh, we're going to see McGraw having to face the music. Oh, got him! South Africa have got it! They've won! Straight back to important ball! What a game for the Villiers! The Australians all out, 111. Victory for South Africa by five runs. It's the fourth closest runs result in Test match history. The bowling figures for South Africa, finally De Villiers, 23.3 overs, 8 maidens, 6 for 43. Alan Donald, 17 overs, 5 maidens, 3 for 34. Shane Warne was the 10th one to go down when he was so brilliantly run out by Hansi Cronier.